Hello, this is Jonathan with Aramis. Um, I've had some questions about how to clean our diffuser. Um, there's been situations where um, people have called back and said that the unit is no longer working and it has a lot to do with um, there being no vapor that's coming out of the unit. And I'd like to show you that in most cases the reason why there's no vapor coming out of the unit is because the small tube that actually draws the oil up out of the oil reservoir and brings it to the top of the tube so it can get blasted with air it can get clogged with either something that fell in it can get clogged with um, hardened oil especially if oil has been left into the in the unit for too long um, it can also be caused by um, carrier oils that were in the in the in the essential oil but you know someone didn't know there were carrier oils in it or was just not sure how to how to use the unit Anyway, so the, the best way to clean the unit is with rubbing alcohol. Um, that's this stuff, 91% isopropyl alcohol. Rubbing alcohol will basically uh, dissolve the oil that's inside the unit. And most of the times when there's clogs, the clogs will occur inside the middle or the top of the filament because there'll be a, a, a larger mass at the bottom that actually gets pushed up into the top and blocks a little bit like an artery. Anyway, so the way the way to clean out the unit is actually relatively simple. Um, basically, remove the top. I almost always say to remove the glass parts first. Remove the top. And if I can get it to focus, I'll actually show you what it looks like inside the unit. There, in this unit, there is no clog in the unit, but when there is a clog, it will happen on this side because this bottle, excuse me, this tube is actually not attached to the bottom of this glass. It floats in the oil, and the oil gets pulled up, and this is where the clogs occur, is right around here. So the goal is to basically clean the clog out from this, from this area right here. And the best way to do it, and the simplest way to do it, is to soak your bottle in alcohol. That process is relatively simple. Take your bottle or take a cup, place the bottle inside the cup, and then take some alcohol and pour it inside, if you can, inside the bottle so that it completely fills up. There's no need to be too careful with the outside. You can swirl it around a little bit. You'll notice that there's a little bit dribbling out because the alcohol is not dribbling down through the air intake tube, which is the bent tube. What will happen is, is that once you leave it there, there's going to be a little bubble that occurs in the bottom of the small tube. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what this looks like. So there's a bubble inside of the left tube. Above the bubble, there's alcohol that has filled that tube up. That means that in the most important part where the clogs occur, alcohol is now dissolving any oil that's inside of there. For really nasty clogs, you may soak this for up to 12 hours, leaving it overnight. You notice that the alcohol will start to dribble out through the tube down to here, but it'll stop once it hits the top of the tube. It won't dribble any lower than that. So once it's all done, you've soaked it for a couple of hours, um, I usually give the whole bottle kind of a nice cleaning. I'll take some rags or whatever I have lying around, and I'll clean this out. I'll give it a nice wash, both inside and out, using some of the alcohol. What you'll notice is the bottle cleans up really, really nicely, just like it was when you first bought it. It's a nice thing about having a glass unit. Nothing made out of plastic. You'll notice how clean it is. All the fingerprints are gone. All the oil is gone. It comes off almost immediately. So once it's done, you'll be left with sort of like a glass of alcohol. You can actually reuse that alcohol if you'd like, as long as there's no major chunks. The other great thing about using alcohol is that with just a couple of seconds, almost all of the alcohol will evaporate and your unit will be clean.
clean and beautiful. These are some of the areas where there's a little bit of residual. Let's see if I can clean it up to show you what it looks like after you clean it up. Some of the residual oil will come off. Ends up looking really nice. So, and you need to make sure those teak tubes may, remain maintained. Um, another thing that's important to do to keep what you can do to sort of avoid there being problems. Um, probably the most, the easiest way to avoid problems with getting clogs is making sure that you use up all the oil before you turn the unit off. If you don't use up all the oil, it has a, has a high chance of oxidizing. If it's, um, if, it's un, if, it's, if, it's, if it's very stable oil, it won't oxidize, but some forms of oil will oxidize. Specifically, oils that come from trees, they tend to oxidize a little bit more easily. Um... I think that's about it. So just keep try to keep the unit clean and don't leave. If you're gonna, if you know you're gonna leave for a while or not use the unit for several days and there's a little bit of extra oil, either dump it out or put it into a, a new bottle, um, like an essential oil bottle. If you have an old an old bottle that's empty, it's just lying around. You can actually have oil that you put back into the old bottle and you can put it back in later when you want to use it if you don't want to waste your oil. Anyway, that's good. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We're very easy to contact. Thank you.